What's going on everyone? Happy Monday. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, having a great day so far, and testing negative for all those viruses that can make us sick. It is time now for an unplanned, out in the wild update for Monday, December 15th, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. You've just clicked onto the channel that gives you the latest updates on all those viruses that can make us sick. Let's face it, there's a lot of viruses out there and no one wants to be sick. Well, if you're properly informed of what's going on, you can avoid getting sick. And maybe if you take a few precautions as well, that would help you too. So want to stay informed, just subscribe to my channel down below. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. Alrighty, it is as I just said. We were not planning to do an Out in the Wild update today. We didn't even bring notes. We did write down a few things here uh, while Out in the Wild that you should know of today. And I can tell you this much. There are a lot of people getting sick. That is the theme of today's short video. It will probably be 10 minutes or less today. Yeah, there's a lot of people sick out and about. I'm hearing more and more people coughing. I'm seeing more ambulances. Uh... The number of delivery requests, that's why we're doing Out in the Wild today, are just skyrocketing. Uh, it, it's insane. I've had hundreds of delivery requests on the app. Yeah, some of them shopping things and uh, retail things that are going way too many miles that are just not worth it to me. But it's just insane how many people are getting sick at this point. seems as if everybody at this point in time knows at least one person who is sick with a cold flu, COVID, or something at this point. And in regards to people knowing, uh, people saying in regards to COVID, um, here's the BNO estimated number of cases in the last week. Again, it's an estimate. It's not from wastewater, which would estimate things are much higher, but 66,629 cases of COVID. That is a number that is starting to rise here in the United States. Hospitalizations are starting to rise for COVID in the United States. Admissions, they're on the rise. Uh, flu cases, we know they are on the rise at this point. Uh, EMS calls in Philadelphia yesterday, 798. Yeah, they're starting to trend higher. We've been seeing more days over 800 or close to that 800 number. So that is not a good thing whatsoever. And with me saying that I'm hearing about more people sick, visibly seeing more people sick, it's time that we update the meters. First off, the coughing meter. It was 8.0 last week. I'm raising that. Yep, I'm raising that to 9. Yes, 9 is the new number for the coffee meter. Uh, ambulance meter, 6.5 last week. I'm going to say that is now at a 7.3. Hmm? Yeah, I've been seeing way more ambulances now. Uh, more than last week, but way more than I saw, say, a month ago. So, yeah, what did I say there? 7.3? Yeah, we'll roll with that. So, again, the, the meters, uh, they are going upward, and uh, things are trending in the wrong direction. I, You know, I saw a point uh, or a little news story today about one of the viruses, measles. We've talked about that a lot here on the channel this year, and I got to get this off my mind because it's just driving me absolutely nuts. The article headline said, Embarrassing number of measles cases in the United States. You know, it is embarrassing. We're darn well near 2,000 reported cases. I'm, we're likely over 2,000, but we'll, we won't have that discussion. It's embarrassing because measles was once a virus that was considered to be eliminated. And here we are, measles is uh, a thing once again. Oh, it's just driving me nuts. Uh, and the fact that measles cases have been accelerating as of lately, I'm concerned that the start of 2026 is going to be worse than the start of uh, 2025. I hope my concern ends up being wrong, but yeah, measles cases trained in the wrong direction. And as noted, all the other viruses are trending in the wrong direction. Uh, right now is, I believe, Hanukkah. If you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah to you. Hey, it's, it's the holidays. If you notice, we're now wearing our Santa hat. You know, my name is Joe, so I call myself Santa Joe or Santa Report. I don't know. But, uh, yes, it is the holidays, so I'm at least trying to bring some cheer to these deliveries. And a lot of these deliveries have been saying, leave at door. I would say 90, 95% of today's deliveries, leave at door. 
That's a red flag within itself. Usually when more people are sick, the number of delivery requests go up and the number of leave at door requests go up. Every once in a while you will get someone that doesn't put leave at door and then they come out <coughs> coughing. I'm like, oh brother, no, no, no. Well, that's where this guy comes into play right here. Yes, thank goodness for that. And if you don't believe in that, hey, that's your prerogative, but yeah, the viruses are going to continue to uh, spread. We've had a really cold stretch here in the Northeast. I mean, maybe you can see to my left, uh, we have snow here in my region. Maybe you have snow in your region. Maybe you're getting snow right now and you have to go out and shovel. I'm gonna say something I said yesterday. Make sure you take frequent breaks, especially if it's heavy snow. You know, that can cause heart problems. It's not good. And you can also get tired really easily. So just be careful if you are out there shoveling snow. Be careful if you have to go out and about, period. Because with the number of people sick right now, your chances of catching a virus somewhere, uh, maybe it be the grocery store, maybe it's a shopping mall, anywhere right now, your virus chances are way up because so many people are infectious and contagious with various different viruses. So please, just be careful. All right, we will have data filled updates. I don't know for the rest of the week. There'll probably be some more surprise out in the wilds. So although in those cases, I think I will probably have some notes. Maybe it'd be a good idea if for the rest of this week, I just bring some notes with me just in case it turns into surprise out in the wild days. But uh, we should have Mike Horger's update uh, coming in the next day or so, maybe this evening. Maybe it's out already, I didn't check. I suspect wastewater is saying that we are way north of 500,000 cases a day at this point. Cases of COVID is what I'm referring to there. That will continue to rise. Flu will continue to rise. You know, let's talk about flu for just one second. You know, I'm seeing a lot of countries going up. Everyone's all on the, it's going up rapidly. Yes, that is bad, but you know, I do want to bring one little tiny sign of hope. We saw with COVID, back in the original Omicron, how that just shot way upward. Well, what goes up very fast, peaks, and then maybe goes down very fast? It's a possibility we could see that happen with flu, or as some are saying, quote, super flu. That's just a way to get more people to click onto their websites. I just know it is. That's why they're doing it. They're doing it for clicks. But it really is a more contagious strain of flu. It really is a more severe strain of flu this year. But we've seen in Japan, when it went up really fast, it peaked, and now is going down almost equally as fast. And uh, last chart I saw, matter of fact, I think we do have, no, that's enough. We still have last week's out in the wild with us. Uh, the last chart I saw did go down really fast over in Japan. So, uh, We'll have to see here. Um, flu is definitely going to continue to go up uh, probably into at least uh, the first week of the New Year's. And then at some point, there should be a peaking. Will we see a double peaking this year? I can't answer that question. Are we going to see the viruses go up rapidly again in February? I can't answer that. There will definitely be more school outbreaks after the holidays when kids come back to school. Sure, that is going to happen. But uh one thing is for certain right now is really risky out here in the wild. Please be careful. There are a lot of people sick. There are a lot of people coughing. I mean, we're getting close to 10 on the coffee meter. That's really bad. That means I'm seeing, from my personal experiences, a lot of people coughing. Let me know. On a scale of 1 to 10, if you go out and about in your area, maybe you go to the office uh, on weekdays to work. Maybe you work in retail. Maybe you have to go shopping, whatever the case is. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate the coughing meter in your area? Are you visibly seeing a lot of people sick? Let me know all of that down below in the comments. Alrighty, I do think we're going to have a data-filled update tomorrow. Matter of fact, I'm going to make sure we do a data-filled update tomorrow. If not, be surprised. It would be out in the wild. But uh, until then, I will see you again next time. If you enjoyed today's surprise out in the wild, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. Of course, leave your comments down below and ways to support the channel are listed down below. I will see everyone again next time. Until I see you again next time, 
Stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic Monday evening. And uh, watch out for all those people that are sick out in the wild that really should just be staying home and trying to get better. Take care. See you again tomorrow.